Join me on board the Coral Princess for a full ship tour. Coral Princess is one of two Coral class ships and at around 91,000 gross tons is currently the smallest vessel in the Princess fleet. Her four-level atrium is a spectacular multi-level space with a range of bars and shops and helps connect passengers to all areas of the ship. Jumping forward to Deck 7, we'll take a look at the Princess Theatre. Here is where you can enjoy Princess production shows, port lectures and other events throughout the cruise. The compact size is relative to the number of passengers on board, with a double occupancy capacity of only 2,000 passengers. Deck 7 is also where you'll find the ship's promenade deck, though I didn't have an opportunity to film it on this tour. Exiting the theatre and walking aft, you'll come across one of the main bar and lounge venues on this ship. The Wheelhouse Bar is a princess staple. With an historical maritime theme, this cosy space is the perfect spot to soak in that old world cruising charm. Deck 7 is where you'll find another princess classic, Kruner's Bar. This atrium bar and lounge is a popular evening hangout with live music performances and of course, delicious cocktails. Off to the starboard side is where you'll find Churchill's Lounge. This cozy nook is ordinarily a cigar lounge Though on Australian sailings where smoking indoors is prohibited, this venue is instead a peaceful zone where you can enjoy some quiet time. Here's another view of the stunning atrium. In typical princess style, Coral has a pair of glass elevators that serve the four level area. Down to deck 6, you'll find the shops of Princess, with everything on offer from duty-free alcohol to clothing, merchandise and more. Coral Princess is served by two main complementary dining rooms, the Provence on deck 6 and the Bordeaux on deck 5. I didn't have an opportunity to walk through them on this cruise, but both are almost identical. You'll be served breakfast daily, lunch on sea days and turnaround days, and of course dinner every night. Walking down to the bottommost deck of the atrium, this is where the champagne waterfall is held during most voyages. There's also a bandstand for live musical performances. The main guest reception desk is also located on this level. The Good Spirits Bar is where you'll find one-of-a-kind cocktails, as Princess's bartenders lead you through an immersive cocktail experience. Up to Deck 6 and continuing aft, you'll find the last of the Princess shops, as well as the Ocean Front, Princess's Ocean Medallion Center where you can access assistance with the Medallion app, plus purchase accessories and wearables.
past the ocean front is the entrance to the casino, as well as the International Cafe, which we'll check out in a moment. The casino on board Coral is surprisingly spacious, though smaller than what you'll find on other Princess ships. There are a range of table games and slot machines to try your luck on throughout your cruise while the ship is at sea. The International Café is another princess staple, offering complimentary sweet and savoury food items 24-7, plus barista-made coffee and specialty drinks. Further aft still, the Explorer's Lounge is a themed lounge and bar venue, the space is also used for entertainment throughout the cruise, from live music and dancing to things like trivia. It's also a warm and inviting space for a pre-dinner cocktail. Though Coral has many similarities to other princess ships of the same era, I found Deck 6 and 7 to differ the most and the Universe Lounge is one of those main differences. Occupying the entire aft section, this large theatre style venue is multi-purpose, being used for a number of entertainment events throughout the cruise. Though this ship doesn't have a dedicated nightclub, the Universe Lounge is used for that purpose on occasion as well. There's a bar as well as a spiral staircase to the upper balcony level. Deck 7 offers a great vantage point for any events taking place on the lower level. Now on Deck 7 and walking forward, it's hard to miss the interior design and theming as we make our way towards the Bayou Cafe and Steakhouse. This New Orleans inspired specialty dining venue offers steak and seafood dishes. Plus on select evenings, there are even live musical performances here. There is a nominal cover charge of around $29 for adults and $15 for children. Further forward, we're now transported to the Mediterranean. Sabatini's is a much-loved princess specialty dining venue. Here you'll find classic Italian dishes like antipasto and pasta, plus a range of delicious desserts. Service is attentive and the restaurant is warm and inviting. 
On board Coral, this venue is transformed into Alfredo's during the daytime. With a range of complimentary pizzas on offer, it's fantastic that Princess have figured out how to include another complimentary dining venue on board. Outside is the art gallery. Though it's never been something that's interested me, I do know many people enjoy purchasing art while cruising. Forward and back into the midship atrium, we'll walk up to deck 8. Coral Princess has two internet cafes, one on the starboard side here and then one on the port side. Just after that is the library. This sizable space has a range of books, cozy lounges and reading nooks. On the port side of Deck 8 is the card room where you'll find board games and felt lined playing tables. We'll head up now to Deck 14 and the Horizon Court, Princess's main buffet venue. As is now the norm, hand wash stations are available at the entrance. Inside there are a number of food stations broken up between bakery items, salads, antipasto style offerings, pre-made sandwiches as well as fruit. There are also hot food stations with a large selection of meats, pastas, vegetables and more. Outside of the Horizon Court is where you'll find the midship pool and hot tubs. Deck 14 also offers the poolside bar and another favourite, the Princess Pizzeria. Deck 15 overlooks the midship pool and from here you can walk aft and enter the upper level of the two-storey indoor pool. Called the conservatory, this section offers ping pong tables and unsurprisingly is where ping pong tournaments are hosted. Below on deck 14 is where you'll find Princess's complimentary ice cream bar. Here is where you'll find the Lotus Pool, a couple of large hot tubs, and of course, the Lotus Bar. To the right of the bar, heading aft is the entrance to the Lotus Spa. Past the Lotus Spa reception area, you'll see the entrance to the beauty salon. Further aft still is the entrance to the large onboard fitness center. I was surprised at just how dark it was, but actually it allowed for a better view out of those floor to ceiling windows. 
there is a large range of cardio and weight equipment on offer here. From the rearmost stairwell and lift bank, and still on deck 14, we'll head to the outer deck and continue towards the back of the ship. Here is where you'll find the sanctuary. Advertised as an adults only private getaway, this space offers signature beverages, light meals and alfresco massages. I only managed to get back here after hours so unfortunately I don't have footage of the area set up but it is definitely a luxurious zone. Occupying multiple decks across the terraced aft, there is also a dedicated sanctuary pool. Via the stairs on deck 14, we'll head to the topmost deck of the sanctuary. Here you'll find cabanas and private nooks within which you can spend a sea day luxuriating. It costs around $40 for a day pass to the sanctuary, and this can be arranged once on board. Heading forward, we'll take a quick look at Centre Court. This sports court and deck game area is positioned on deck 16. With chess, shuffleboard and a basketball court, it's a great place to spend some outdoor time. Walking forward and past the conservatory, we make our way back to midship. This is where Princess offer their famous Movies Under the Stars, with comfy lounge chair coverings converting the sun lounges into something more akin to a cinematic experience. Deck 15 is also where you'll find another bar and an additional complimentary dining venue, The Grill. Hot dogs, burgers, pies and chips are available here all day. Walking forward and uh, maybe into a different time zone, we'll make our way up to deck 16 forward. I found this space to be underutilized. It was very quiet, but it does offer a splash pool or as I heard it referred to on board, a bird bath. Not many people know about it, but if you walk all the way forward on decks 9, 10 or 11, you'll find an outdoor forward facing balcony, which offers a perfect vantage point when sailing into port. I hope you enjoyed the ship tour of the Coral Princess. If you are looking to book a cruise, you can head to my website, thecruiseandtravelguide.com.au and you can also give me a follow on Facebook and Instagram at The Cruise and Travel Guide. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.